Chris, I played in a softball tournament today and it honestly felt like Mother Nature couldn't make up its mind at all. It definitely was a day of transition today. Some changes with a cold front moving through and yeah, we've got uh, definitely a cooler second half of the weekend on the way for us. Let's get you to the graphics and show you how the day progressed here. 12 hours of time lapse video from our weather camera now showing the showery and damp and dreary start to the day and a milder start to the day. I mentioned those temperatures started in the uh, upper 40s to around 50 uh, early this morning before falling into the 30s and that's where we are right now. 36 as we look right off to the north and miles outside our Briarfield Healthcare Center's weather camera. Of course, the showers have moved well off to the east. Some stubborn cloud cover still trying to hang around. There's a secondary cold front that is just off to our north, but off to our west. High pressure is slowly nudging this direction, and that will assume control of things as far as our weather is concerned over the next uh, 24 hours or so. Proof of that on high risk future cast. The skies continue to clear. We may see uh, some stubborn cloud cover in the the extreme northern portions of our viewing area tonight, mainly a little bit of lake enhancement there, but that will be about the extent of it. And as the skies clear, consequently, it will end up being a cold night. Those temperatures stopping in the lower 20s with a uh, light breeze out of the southwest tonight. As we go through our Sunday, though, it's going to be looking gorgeous. You're going to have to go for miles and miles around to find any kind of cloud cover through much of tomorrow afternoon, but it's a lot of what we call ineffective sunshine because those temperatures are only going to recover into the mid to upper 30s. Yeah, that high pressure uh, bringing some cooler and drier air in, so it will look a lot better than it's going to feel outside tomorrow. Rain chances begin late Monday night into Tuesday. Several more uh, systems, kind of a litany, a parade of systems, however you want to call it, are going to be passing through the lower Great Lakes right on through our Friday. Scattered showers on our Friday. Maybe some wet snowflakes trying to mix in. We've been talking about uh, some clues that some cold air might finally dislodge from the Arctic. And what we're looking at here on the upper level map, this takes us out to December the 11th. To keep your eye up here to the northwest. This is one of these low lobes of that Arctic air and here it comes as we get into the week after next. That's when we'll start to see a little bit uh, more of a resurgence of that colder air. We're not talking about uh, single digit cold, but it is going to be noticeably colder uh, as compared to what we have seen lately. Fairly close to the average though for several days this week. I think we touch 50 on Wednesday, but again, several opportunities for some showers. Temperatures will eventually settle in the low 40s by uh, at least the first half of next weekend. Chris, I always feel like we're at this time of year, we're looking for that glimmer of hope in the forecast, maybe like a 50 degree day, something like that. And it, with that preview there, kind of, I don't know, seems bleak. We got to take our uh, W's where we can get them in the wintertime, right? That's right. All right. Next